Hello y'all on YouTube, this is Rob with Rob's Nerdy Knives. See, we have a very special unboxing and a little assembly we're going to be doing. Something very cool and something I wanted to do for Blade Show. Um, as you know, I partner up with Rock Scale Designs and uh, I got some scales for this paramilitary too. This is the CPM S90V blade steel version that I was able to get from NC Blades. So let's go ahead and take a look at this and see what we got here today. So I'm going to go ahead and open up the lynch clips first and uh, covered up a lot of my information here. So what do we got here? So the first thing we have here is, all right, a little Benchmade stubby. That's going to be for something else. And then what do we have here? We have a purple lynch clip, I think, that might go on here. So let's put that to the side. And, oh, we got some extra hardware. Looks like for OEM Spider Co. All right, so we'll hold on to that. Nice little clip and, oh, and some stickers. Very cool, very cool. Hey, thanks, Rob. Very cool. From Casey, appreciate that. Please note anodized titanium has a natural tendency to fingerprints to oxidize from oils. Splash of Windex. Yep, so that's how you clean up the um, anodization here. So it looks nice. We'll save the stickers for sure. That's going to be part of probably some giveaway at some point. So will one of these little, you know, nice little keychains. All right, so we're going to put that off to the side. And the other one that we're going to look at is what's in here from Rock Scale Design. So let's take a look at this. All right, so a lot of times there's extra information on here. Yep, so I just want to make sure I don't show any personal information. All right, so we'll go ahead and open that up. What do we have in here? We have a nice little, uh, okay, so we got the purple hardware and backspacer. And are you guys ready? This is, oh, look at this. Look at this, look at this. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh, this is me going nutty, super nutty. All right, you gotta see what this is. Look at that. What do you think? Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. I'm so stinking excited. All right, so. Just so you get a little idea of everything that's coming together here. Hardware. This is a burpled out pair of military two. Just look at that. Of course, stickers, always save those for giveaways. Love, love to get those. I have a bunch of those already on my wall of stickers. Rock scale designs are definitely up there for sure. And then with the purple from Lynch Clip, I'm gonna go ahead and open that up on here. So you can kind of see how all of this is gonna to come together. Just look at that. <laughs> That's gonna be crazy. It's gonna be crazy. All right, so we gotta take this apart. Always a little challenging to get off these liner tubes, so hopefully it won't destroy that, but you know, that's why I had all the hardware, so I'd make sure that I didn't need it. So typically there are T8s here, and that's a T10, so let's just confirm that. This is the T10. Yeah, T10. And then typically these are T8s. All right, so I'm gonna speed up a lot of this stuff. You can slow it down if you wanna watch more. I do that because I've done this a lot. So, you know, you're welcome to come back to it, but just know that, all right? The only thing is these are T6s, so I do remember, hold on, before we do that, these are T6s, just so you know. Get off the clip first. Sometimes if I can't get just enough leverage, because I don't want to strip it, I get in here, I can, push a little harder with this. I don't want to strip the screws and get it stuck. That's why it's always nice to have a stubby. Sometimes they're in there a little tight. You'll notice there's probably some Loctite. Yep, there is some Loctite on that, for sure. Okay, so when I typically see this is starting to rotate, let me see if I can get this going. Sometimes I can't get these off because they start to spin. Yeah, so I'm gonna have to probably use pliers at some point to get there. So let's get the, uh... now this is typically, it is a captive pivot, so I just gotta figure out which side it's captive on. I 
I'm gonna get another piece of, uh, another screw, another T8. Hold on one second. T8, all right, this is the stubby tool. By the way, I do recommend this. This is from um, Lynch, from um, Skiff Made Blades, or Skiff, Hard, uh, Skiff Hardware. So look at all that Loctite on there. That's what made it a bit of a challenge for sure. Now here's the challenge over here. Got one off. Very good. Very good. So at this point, this is why sometimes some of this hardware can't always be salvaged because they put this on so tight, so unbelievably tight. Let's see if I can get this off without ruining it. That's my hope. Yeah, I scratched it. That's a bummer. It's relatively minor damage for a scale, all things considered. Now this is where it gets a little challenging, getting these off. Pretty unscathed, I'm happy about that. Pretty unscathed as well. Nice. That was relatively easy to get off. I've absolutely destroyed these before. Nice fit. Nice fit. That's what I was hoping to see. Perfect fit. Okay. Good. Good, good, good. <clears throat> now something I do, don't necessarily need to, I will, oh look at that, there's actually a little ramp there on the deep, that's cool, I, I just do this, just in case there's some burrs on there, make sure it's nice and smooth, is it necessary? No, but I like to do that, just to make sure there's no burrs. See, and the funny thing is, when I first did it, I felt something there. I felt a little resistance, like a little scratchy. And after I did it, that's kind of went away. So it makes me think there might have been just a small burr there. Nice and clean overall. I'm checking for things we might need to clean. Now something that they do, this little thing here, I think is on tension, and I don't really know somebody has noticed that before, it, it, it's something that they do specifically, these little, little welding spots right here, allows them to have a perfect thickness as far as when they come together, don't know the science behind that, I'm not an expert, um, this is somebody, another uh, metal or, or, or urologist, <laughs> I can't talk today. I've been sick a little bit. You can hear it in my voice. I know it's a little hoarse, so I'm, I apologize. All right, so what I'm doing now is I'll polish up the phosphor bronze washers. And I usually try to do circle eights. It's nice and polished. Good. All right. Here's the clip. We're going to put that over there. 
There's the screws for the clip. We're going to keep that with them. This is the hardware for that knife. We're going to keep that together. All right, now we're going to reassemble. Okay, very good. And here's our hardware. I didn't have to use my pry tools. I'm super excited about that. So I'm going to put those to the side. So this is what I'm going to be reusing. Now the cool thing is he uses all T8s. So I just need a T8. No longer need the T10 like Spyderco does with their pivot screws. So, all right. Let's start to reassemble. Now I'm going to clean off my washers real quick after I polish them. Make sure I don't have any polish on them still. Right. So I'm going to do this side first. This is where the detent track is going to be, so I can oil that. So we'll start to put this together first. What we'll need is this. I'm going to clean this out a little bit. Boy, that's dirty. I might need to get some cleaning solution for that. So, isopropyl alcohol, 91%. I'd like to use that. Some KPL cleaning swabs. So there's a lot of dirt in there. Look at these little guys here. Now I like using alcohol because it dries pretty quick. It doesn't remain in there really a long time. It tends to loosen the Loctite that they have in there. Oops, hopefully I didn't blow anything else away. Mm. Gotta be careful there. All right, I think we're ready. So this is a captive, you see this? It's a captive pivot. And part of this right here has a little D-shape. Do you see that right, oops, sorry. You see that little D-shape right there? There's a D right here and that is going to go in there like this and that keeps it from moving around right now before you put that in we have to put a washer in now, I want a nice polished size the one I want the nicest I think it's going to be this one here so then I'm going to put the captive D it's facing this way So now, take one of our pivots here on this side. Okay. So now that's on here. Oh my gosh, it's going great. It's going to just look fantastic. So just so you can see, this is going to go on here, and then we're going to have, one's going to go here, and then one of these is going to be up here, okay? It's going to be our lock bar. Now this has to go all the way through, so I'm going to move this over here to the side. Take this off. It's not captive on this one. Okay. So now we need another screw. Where's my screwdriver? Oh, here we are.
super excited. I am super excited. Now I'm not putting a Loctite on just yet, so I'm going to make sure everything fits together before we do that. Okay. That's always my last step. Now we're going to put a little oil. Not much. So just a little bit of oil left in here. I'm trying to use the last bit. This is Nano Oil 10 weight. Do you see how that works? That's the stop bar pin. Stop bar pin or a stop knife blade, knife stop pin for you close it and when you open. Right there. I forgot I wasn't going to use that. Duh. Damn. Oh man, this is sick. So exciting. Now, is it a little off? It is. And that's typical of Spyderco, right? Got G10 scales. The action's great, though. Nope, no play play? No, a little bit. Oh, yeah. That center is it. It's hard to tell with all those colors in there. Let's line it up here. Oh, yeah. <laughs> this is sick. This is absolutely disgustingly beautifully sick. All right. So I'm going to get a little alcohol here. Just show you what happens when you clean this off. All right, so there you go. So we're almost done, we're like 99% there. Put these away. I will probably put some Loctite on later at some point, but I want to put on my CME. I have an extra CME here. I have this install kit. We've done that. I'm going to keep my Loctite out because we'll come back to that. Let me, here's my old hardware. I'm going to put all the stuff in here. We're going to do our lynch clip over here. Let's just put it all in here. Keep it all together. Because this closes, that one doesn't. Put the old scales back in here. Are the ones I just replaced. Is there anything else that I needed to go back in here? No. I think that was it. Just so you guys understand, CME is going to be this little piece that we attach here. I'll allow it to lock a little bit better. Uh, I am darn close to being dead center. Could be part of the edge. Is that one a little bit longer? Yeah, it's a little longer on this side than it is on this side. So. Oh, yeah. What do you think? What are your thoughts so far? So the CME is going to go on here. Now, yeah, what, do I wish I had a purple to put on there? But, yeah, that's... I could get a titanium one, but I would have to get somebody to special anodize that. And, uh, yeah, that's a lot extra for just that. I did it on one knife, super fancy knife. I think black will look good on here, don't you? And what's nice about that is that allows you to close it really easy left-handed. So in order to do that, 
we get this piece of paper like this. We get our glue over here. I like to put a cloth down for this just to make sure if I spill anything. I like to have a couple things to block it. But before that, we've got to clean everything. Oops. Make sure it's nice and clean here. So then this is going to go in here like this. But now I have to put some glue on. I think we're good. So we're gonna let that sit for a while. I think it, it takes eight hours to cure. I'm gonna clean this up. Can I have a napkin here somewhere I can use? Yep. All right, so let me move all this stuff out of the way. So what we have now is the knife here. This is curing with the CME, compression made easy. That's going to attach on there. Should be a good, solid, clean attach. Uh, we've got this beautiful purple clip from Lynch. This is the rock scale design without the aluminum blast finish. By the way, you can reach out to rock scale designs and request a pair of scales without the aluminum blast. Now, I did request for a little extra I don't know if he's taken them. It, it probably is availability of you know resources and time, but um, I've also been partnering with him for a while, and I told him I'm going to be carrying this knife to Blade Show Texas, and I really wanted to show it off. And so <laughs> maybe he did that because you know, he knows I'm going to talk him up when I'm there about this knife because I'm hoping I get to flick this out and show it off a little bit uh, because this is my... this is I'm going to call this my... What am I going to call this? My purple beast. My purple beast. Yeah. We'll call this the purple beast. I think that's a good name for it. Really, really cool. I don't know if you can see that. This is in CPM S90V. The action is fantastic. It is pretty centered. I think I can get that maybe a hair better, but we'll do that after everything is settled and I put some Loctite on there. I want to be very careful because I don't want to mess any of the finishings on here. So this is something I took a little extra time and care in doing, okay? And that's that's important. It's important. You got to remember that when you do stuff like this, don't be patient. Don't be uh, impatient. Okay, but it will it will definitely pay off. I think in the end, right? So, all right. So I'm going to leave this sort of like in this case. How about I leave it like this? That way you can kind of see what's going on here. You know what I'll do? I'll put it up at an angle a little bit. Like, yeah, that's not going to quite work. Do I have something I can put underneath here? Hmm. Not really, but you know what I mean. So, we'll just hold it like this. All right. <clears throat> hey, if you found this content fun, interesting, worthwhile, entertaining, or informative, would you please consider hitting the like button down below? And if you've already hit that like button, would you please consider hitting the subscribe button? Subscribing and liking the channel really helps out. Allows the channel grow, produce more content, do more things, ultimately do more things for you guys. So thank you. Thank you so much to those of you guys, especially who watch, who like, who subscribe. I am very much grateful and appreciative of every one of you guys. You have no idea. And if you haven't already, maybe hit that notification button so you can be notified of future content. And finally, to all my channel members out there, a big shout out. Thank you, every one of you guys, especially those of you who have been since there at the beginning. Very, very much appreciate you guys. You guys are awesome and amazing. Thank you. Thank you to every one of you guys. You guys are truly make this just such a, a pleasure and a joy. So thank you. And then finally, um, I just want to give a big, uh, you know, let you know for anybody who's on the fence of becoming a channel member, there's a link down below. There's three different tiers. I'd like you to 
If you've been on the fence, you'd say, I'd like to become a channel member. Would love to have you. Would be honored. Um, just want you to know that. Be very appreciative of that. And also, just a way to say thank you, I do try to give every channel member a sticker if they haven't already gotten one. If you became a channel member, been a channel member, and haven't asked for a sticker yet, let me know. I'd love to send you one. And then there's a top tier sticker you get as, as, as well, a special sticker and special content and things like that. But to all the channel members, there's a once a month giveaway. Just know that. That's my way to say thank you as well. And then finally, if you haven't already, maybe check me out over on Instagram at Rob's underscore nerdy underscore knives. Again, that's on Instagram at Rob's underscore nerdy underscore knives. Hey, thanks so much for watching today. Have a great day and a great week. Bye.